Welcome back to Winter's Mall Farms. This is a find I found at the Metropolis Farm Toy Show. I'm pretty excited about it. I've been wanting one for a little bit of time now and they're kind of hard to track down online without paying an astronomical amount. And this one was a reasonable price, so I bought it. As you can see, this is from 1995, before I was born, so um, I think that's kind of cool. It is made by um, Scale Models. It's a country classics by Scale Models. If you watch our channel a lot, um, recently Silas purchased a quad track from Scale Models. And it was made in 1996, so right around that same time period. There's a lot of similarities between these two. And if you'd like to see a review on that, check our channel out. It's not too far back there, and you will see that. So I know some people cringe when we open these older toys that are still new in the package, but that's why we buy them. So here we go. Let's get into it and see, see what we got. All right. So first off, this is a 9370. Um, not the biggest one they were making at the time, but definitely on the bigger end of them. Um, it, I can't remember how many horsepower it had, but um, back then it was pretty good. By today's standard, it's not really that much compared to what we get nowadays out of a four-wheel drive. It does have a sticker as a grill. See Steiger logo right there with some headlights. Nice 9370 decal. Case IH on the side there. You can see the engine detail in the casting there. Now the hood and um, the fenders and the cab is all plastic. But the engine in there that is die cast and the frame is die cast. Here's the underside. It's kind of cool how they did that right there with the way that rear axle is held in. It almost kind of looks like your drive shaft, you know. Um, I don't know if they did that on purpose or not. It's got a sticker around the back for where it would have been red with the black stripe on the real one. Um, there's your air intake black plastic cab windows as you can see uh, your exhaust runs all the way up to your engine like I said on the other side the engine looks really good tires for back then this was standard I'm not a big fan of them I really want to swap tires out on this and I might do that I might just put some put some better tires on it but Put some, keep some skinny, narrow row crop tires on it. I like four wheel drives like that. So uh, I may end up doing that. It's got a nice big hitch on it. You can fit a lot of implements in that. Uh, the back is die cast back here and that looks really good. It's painted nice. Nice and shiny. Overall really cool four wheel drive tractor. Um, I know as old as this thing is, I don't want to hate on it too much um, but the rivets are kind of glaring but I guess that's something that could be painted and fixed but that was kind of standard back then I know back when this thing was made it was a pretty neat toy um, still is a pretty neat toy in my opinion but here it is next to the quad track this quad track kind of has a really tall stance on this toy but there you go see these two scale model tractors from the 90s side by side Pretty cool pieces of our collection now. So I think that's super cool. They did paint the rivets on this quad track. I wish they would have done that with this four wheel drive. Hmm. Anyways, thanks for watching. And we'll have more videos coming your way soon. So please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. And leave a comment. Let us know what you think. We like to hear from you. Have a good day.